Hello everyone, it's your favorite former US men's national team player Jimmy Conrad, also known as Manager Eno. And what a week that we have on our hands! We have the Madrid Derby, we have the Champions League against Juventus leg one, and then we have Osasuna at home. That's an easy three points. Maybe, it depends if I can hit the back of the net or not. Eh, you just never know, but let's look at the calendar itself, just like I talked about. Madrid, Juventus, Osasuna, and then the following episode is gonna be Juventus again, and then Espanyol, and then Villarreal. Oh, but I'm excited about this one. Let's go look at the standings. Let's do that first. I don't wanna get you guys all hyped up until you can see what I'm seeing. Do you see what I see? That's a Christmas song, right? I've got great energy right now. I'm gonna channel all of it into the Madrid Derby. We need to win this game. Look at the standings. Look at that, I'm in third now. Somebody said I was in fifth. I'm not in fifth, I'm in third. Six points back with eight games to go. Are you, are you serious? That is more than doable, but we have to beat Madrid. This is a six point swing right here. If we don't beat Madrid, I don't think we're gonna win the league. Uh, I know I promised at the end of last episode that we did some emails. <laughs> So here's what happened. I had my U Squad monthly report. Okay, there's only three names on there at the time. And then I went to this guy, Grabowski, and he gave me all these names. Uh, these guys were really good. I got some good information. Look at that value right there, 275,000 euros. Got some good information from somebody that watched. His name is uh, E-O-I-N. Is that Owen? Is that Ian? E but he said that the best way to value your younger players is see how much they cost. So I tried to sign every single player that was $200,000 or more. I couldn't get this guy because he was already signed with somebody. That bummed me out. So Grabowski didn't give me jack shit. So I went to Goosens. I was like, you silly Goosens. That's what I call my, my youngest daughter, Silly Goose. So, you silly Hey guys, it's your friend, Mike K. On behalf of Jimmy, I'd like to apologize for the horrendous joke that he just made. As a matter of fact, he tried to deliver that same pun a second time, but it was equally as bad. I can assure you that jokes like this will not be included in future episodes. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. I went in there, I signed a couple players from there, he found some good French guys. And then, uh, yeah, they can keep scouting those guys. And then Barrera, look at this dude, his judgment is five stars, like my weak foot when I used to be in FIFA. And uh, I signed a couple guys from there. I want to get some American talent in the system so they can help my national team because I'm wearing both hats. When I go to the Youth Monthly Squad, these are the dudes I signed right here. I got uh, Bacor. His value was 60. I don't, did I, what? I didn't sign that dude. Look at this guy. Do you think we should sign him to offer, offer him a contract? I don't know. What do you think about that guy? Offer him a contract? I don't know. I definitely don't want to get Bacor in there. I think we can release that dude. Yo, American, 6'6", six, six, right back? Yes, we're developing this guy. So that's what happened there. So I appreciate that, Ian, Owen, uh, whatever your name is. Yay! I appreciate that, you're the man. Griezmann says, you're thinking of playing Torres instead of me, boss? Are you sure that's a good idea? As I feel like I can make a big difference if you put me into the starting squad. Gris, I just took you out for the Real Sociedad game. Chill out. What is this news? Clubs alerted to Oblock situation. Oblock situation? Failure to report for training after Atletico Madrid management allowed Jan Oblock a few days to visit friends and family have led to rampant speculation that the goalkeeper is unhappy living abroad and desperate to leave the club. Despite a statement from the club declaring Oblock had merely missed a connecting flight, rumors persist that all is not well with the player who friends have described as deeply unsettled. What is this? We need to have a press conference. Let's go. Okay, everyone needs to calm down. As we stated in the press release, Jan Oblak simply missed a flight. This isn't about anything else. I know it's ahead of the Madrid derby and you're looking for stories to bring up to either throw my team off of their game and to throw off Madrid off of their game, whatever it may be. But there's nothing else happening here. I am a manager that likes that his players have a life off of the field. I like the balance. They come to work, they do the business, and then when they're off the field, they're human beings. They have feelings, they have wants, they have desires, all that good stuff. Jan Oblak was simply enjoying his life, and I appreciate that, within reason. But that's why I have such a close bond with my players. That's why they're all happy, except that son of a bitch, Koke. Inyo, I think you're my dad. Listen, Oblak is fine. He's fine. Look at him. Healthy, ready to go. Oh, and Signe. You rated so high, but yet so poor. 
In fact, Sonage Gaming came out and said that he thinks Insigne could be the worst signing of the season. The worst signing of the season. I was just listening to you guys. I'll take some responsibility for it. I was really excited about him coming into the team, gave up Gaetan for him, and he's been absolute trash. Whatever Gamero had before called Gamero-itis, I think has moved over and become Insigne-itis. On a positive note, Sonage Gaming believes in him. He believes in Lorenzo, he thinks it can happen, and I believe in him too, so he's gonna stay on the bench. All right, so I made some changes. Griezmann comes back in, Gamero's underneath Diego Costa, then you got Douglas Costa out wide, Casemiro and Koke a little tired, but I gotta play him. Felipe Luis comes back in, Godin, Miranda stays in, Juan Fran comes in, and then Oblak, there's nothing wrong with Oblak, he's gonna be fine. I don't wanna over-dramatize this, but this could be the biggest game of the season. It could be the biggest game of the season to determine whether I win La Liga or not, and it is at the Bernabeu. Oh, I see you, Luka Modric. Look how much taller Diego Costa is. You can fold your arms, Modric. I pray to whoever's up there, please shine down on me. Please let me say hashtag blessed after this game. Last time we played against him, uh, Ronaldo wasn't in the team, so I'm excited to play against him, actually. Nope. Nope. Holy sh... Oh my, I have a word with myself. Oh my, oh, James Rodriguez. Come on, Felipe. Oh, what a finish. That's like the worst start ever to a game. Suck it, Thomas. You know we share the same name. What is that? All of a sudden, my guys, all right. No, then you call, listen, this is, this is some, you guys, you know what? If this keeps up, you're gonna get a lot of crotch shots. You're gonna get a lot of crotch shots. No, no, Murata's not. No, that is unbelievable. Listen, there's no way Murata is a step behind somebody and then outraces me. This just doesn't happen. Against Godin, no less. And then he gets two yards when he pushes him on. This is some shh. This is a joke. I mean, this is, a, this is an absolute, absolute joke. This referee is so in Madrid's back pocket right now. Why wouldn't it, why would, are you serious? What the, fuck dude, this is unreal. Who scored that? Varane, are you kidding me? Look at this, Varane's gonna score that. What is going on right now? What is going on? Half time, half time? You want my first half analysis? Embarrassing. Koke's gonna have to stay in for right now. All right, come on boys. What is happening? Jesus. Oh, Jesus Cristo. Griezmann going in for Gamero. Uh, Gamero's coming out. Insigne there. Carrasco's coming in for Koke. And we're going for Broke. Dude, are you serious? Play to the other guy, Insigne. Jesus. I want to say something positive here to pump you up, to get you to do the do the again. again. But, but you're bad. You're, bad. you're terrible. terrible. Have you ever considered playing on amateur? Fuck. Oh man, this one hurts. This hurts. No goals, no real shots on goal, not even like troubling Navas at all. My team absolutely shit the bed in this game. We just shit the bed. We just, we didn't even have a diapers on, just like. Griezmann, I don't want my butt kissed right now. I want three points. All right, so I'm going for almost the same lineup as before. Front four the same, Casemiro. Saul's gonna come in for Koke. Gaia's gonna come in for Philippe Luis, and then Jimenez is gonna come in for Miranda. Losing to Madrid hurt, but to lose two games in a row in the champ, oh, this is the Champions League. I haven't lost a game yet in the Champions League. Yeah, I'll wake up more there, Blue. They probably won't like that, but I don't give a shit. All right, boys, let's start off well. Oh, uh, beautiful. That's a foul wrap. I'll take it. Penalty. Give it to me. Give it. That's a penalty. No. Oh, uh, these are harder though when you're up close and the walls is close and I can't take free kicks anyway. <sighs> no. No. Why am I diving there? No. This is unbelievable. Why would I dive there? Why would I dive? No. I had him. There's numbers. There's no reason to. I didn't press that button. And then he slots it. No. No. No, now Diego Costa's hurt. This game is totally fixed. No, come on. All right, where's Torres? Come on, Torres. 
I think Inyo's been found out a little bit. Inyo's been found out. Oh, Inyo, yeah. This is the real one, baby. These games got tough at the end of the season, and I have not shown up. You spawn, you're gonna go there. Uh, Koke, you're gonna come in. And then Insigne, you going in for Gamero. Two more numbers. Great. Go! Oh, no! That was it! That was the away goal that I needed! Who was that? Was that Torres? No! Ah! Oh, are you... What am I looking at? Is that another defender that scored some unbelievable goal? That, what is that? I've never... I've never seen that in real life. Any Near post? Oh, that is such a dagger. That is unbelievable. Ooh! Let's go! What a response. That's just what we needed. We needed that road goal. What a finish. Thank you very much. Griezmann! Showing up when I needed you, buddy. Showing up when I needed you. Let's get one more. They're reeling right now. Come on, Douglas. Come on. Oh, what a ball. Oh, are you kidding me? Five hole between Buffon's legs. What a ball by Douglas Costa. Is that Torres? I love him. I absolutely love him. I should play him more. I don't know why I don't play him more because Diego Costa's a boss. But now that Diego Costa's hurt, it is all you, Fernando Torres. Two goals. Yes. What a ball. Look at this ball. Oh, man. Bonucci. Oh, and a five ball Buffon. Beautiful. No, we got to step to him. Oh, my. Who is that on the backside? Wow. Oblak. What a save. Yeah, all right, all right. Still undefeated in the Champions League, have not dropped a game. Two huge road goals. I would have taken one, got two. That puts us in the driver's seat. That puts us in the driver's seat for leg two. Griezmann, hero. Diego Costa is out for four weeks. Thomas wants to play, yeah, I gotcha. All right, so here's the team. We got Insigne going in for Douglas Costa. Carrasco's coming in for Griezmann. Torres is gonna stay up top now, pool six underneath. Thomas and Saul, Gaia, Jimenez, Miranda, Vicoco Pickles, and then Oblak is just, he's just running it. Vicoco Pickles is running it. Look at the away jerseys. Wow, those are nasty. Couldn't pay me to wear those. Insigne, can you do something, please? Please, we believe in you. Sonish Gaming believes in you. I believe in you. Everybody else does not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! Yes, Insigne got an assist. And Fernando Torres, two minutes in. Why can't we do that against Juventus and Real Madrid? Insigne doing something positive. That reminds me of something that Juca said in the comments. If he had a dollar for every time I shot it right down the middle, he'd be rich. Well, I just did it there and I scored, Juca. So shh, go on. Good ball. Get in. Ooh! Power header! Come on! What a goal! That was like a slam dunk alley oop, throwing up back post. Thank you very much, Christian Pulisic, with an absolute smashing header! I think he saw my highlight against Mexico a few times. Look at that. What timing. God, can we play Osasuna every game? Then I can be like those other YouTubers that win every single time they play. Halftime. Beautiful. Just like we wrote up. How about the subs coming off the bench doing their thing? Gamero being cured of his disease. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of great things. So the changes I made, I had Gamero come in for Torres, like I said, before the game to switch them at halftime, and then uh, everybody else is gonna stay the same. I'm gonna keep Saul in the whole game. I put in uh, Philippe Luis for Gaia, who just looks spent. So here we go. Oh yes! Go on, is that Carrasco? Beautiful, what an entry pass. I mean, I can't even believe that they defended like that. I could hit that first time. Carrasco, take it easy on our corner flag, man. It's a home stadium. All right, three to nothing. Spreading the love around my subs. Carrasco, Torres, and Pulisic all getting on the score sheet. All right, let's close this out, boys. Let's close it out. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Well, I wanted one shutout. Ooh! Dude, that would have been a unbelievable goal. You sure that wasn't goal line technology that did not go in? 
A nice 3-1 result. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My twin manages Osasuna. Mind blown. I can't even, I can't even process right now. What? It's like an alternate universe. I am eight points behind them, they won. And then Barcelona is right behind me. They got a game in hand. Oh, this is gonna get tight. This is gonna get tight. I'm not happy right now. I'll see you guys next time.